Somewhere on the internet, two cannibals are falling in love. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Uh huh. Thanks to Durple Prink. Durple Prink, new catchphrase submission uh, submitter for that wonderful catchphrase submission. And welcome to the show for another edition. This is Comedy Bang Bang, the show. Uh, gosh, we need new catchphrase. We, I mean, that was a catchphrase submission, but we need, we used to have a tagline. That's what it was the show where we talk to interesting people. Didn't really seem to fit the show anymore because some of the people ended up not being so interesting, but I hope this week uh, it's a little better. Uh, I can tell you that I'm very excited about the show. A little later, we'll have a uh, head coach of the NBA. What does that stand for? North? No, no, no. What's the N for? Basketball Association, I would imagine. I'm going to ask our next guest what that is. National? National. Thank you. Don't shout at your podcast devices. Um, I got it. I got it in, I would say, under 20 seconds. And that counts. That's, I mean, in Jeopardy, what do they give you? They probably give you, they give you a good 45 seconds to, <laughs> to answer, don't they? What if they gave you a minute and a, a half? A minute, you can check your phone. <laughs> uh, so a little later, uh, the National Basketball Association head coach uh, uh, will be here. Uh, but our first guest... I'm very excited. I'm I'm meeting uh, right now for the first time. Uh, I've been a big fan of his work, especially uh, of the uh, wonderful Comedy Central program, which is now defunct. Bring in defunct, I guess, <laughs> and denoise uh, uh, Detroiters. Um, but also did a, a fantastic job on the uh, legendary Christmas special. Um, <laughs> Please welcome to the show, Sam Richardson. Hello. Oh, thank you. Hello. So nice to meet you. So nice to meet you too. Um. What's up? Uh, not too much. <laughs> Just hanging. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he, of course, Sam has the a new. Do you call it a television show? Or I know it's ones and zeros, and you put them together in a certain combination, and yeah, like your face up pops screen. up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's a it's a program of some sort. A program. Like I still. I guess we still call it TV series. You know, it's a it's a it's, a, it's an acted series. An act. You guys act in it. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. Can I see a little bit of your acting? Yeah, if sure. you don't mind? Could, uh, maybe something by the immortal bard Shakespeare himself. By Shakespeare. Okay. <clears throat> um. What is the that irks one in life? Is it breath, or be it the soul? Oh, perfect iambic Thank contaminator. You. Oh, Thank my you. goodness. Yeah. That was beautiful. That was very moving. I don't know if Thank it's going to come across to the listeners because they weren't seeing all the funny faces you were making oh, when yeah, you were doing it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Where did you get that made, or did you did you make it yourself? Uh, it's, it's one of those uh, CVS ones. Really? Yeah, but like, there was a bunch of them. Uh, you just mix and matched? Just mix and matched them. Yeah. Like a, a frilly collar, I think it was from like a clown. <laughs> right. And then devil horns? Devil for, horns. Strangely. And uh -huh. then those shoes, they're like pilgrim shoes. They have buckles yeah. on them. Yeah. This, yeah. Those were Thanksgiving shoes. Yeah. Pilgrims had buckles on everything, didn't they? Yes, on every, on their hats. They loved them buckles. <laughs> they just loved buckles. <laughs> they loved them. Yeah. Couldn't I get enough of the stuff. They really couldn't. How long do you think that lasted? Because as, as far as I'm concerned... The Pilgrims landed in uh, the 1600s, 1500s? Boy. Uh, well, I will say Plymouth Rock landed on them. That's right. <laughs> that is true. That's right. factual. Right. Uh, what was, was Jamestown? Yeah, what was that? It was like... I think that was like what was that? 15? 1500s? Okay, 1492 is uh, Christopher Colombo discovered America. Mm -hmm. uh, so the ocean blue. And the, of course. Uh, and then uh, 1500s, uh, some other people came in and the yeah. pilgrims uh, got it going, right? Exactly. So how long do you think buckles lasted? Was it like, you know, 1601? I dare say buckles landed till the hot 1900s. <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, I got one on my belt. So everyone exactly, has one exactly. on their belt. Because we haven't, like, found out a better technology for belts. Shouldn't there be something, you know, uh, in Back to the Future 2 when Marty McFly pushes the button on those shoes and they just go, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know? I mean, why can't we do that with pants? Because batteries. 
batteries. Batteries. You, can't, you know, the, 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 the servos and, and the gizmos. I would plug in my pants. Yeah, in a heartbeat. Yeah, in a, in a heartbeat. You know, Everywhere heartbeat. I went, you got a plug. Yeah. I need to plug in my pants. Yeah, pl- like, and I, I think pretty soon su- seats would be fitted with like outlets. <laughs> outlets, yeah. And if you ever couldn't find one, just suddenly your pants go <laughs> <Just> <laughs> and fall off. <laughs> and they make like a, a little like I would slide whistle the, sound. That's the future liberals want. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the liberals' America. Yeah. And I want to live in that America. Um, but speaking of television programs, you have a new one called Champagne Ill, uh, which uh, we'll find out whether it's short for Illinois or if it's short for anything else. For uh, sickness. Of course. And this is a show starring yourself and Adam Pally, which is on a, a, a channel known as YouTube Premium. YouTube Premium. Which uh, burst on the scene this year with their Karate Kid the Cobra the, Kai, the next generation mm-hmm. of Karate Kid, and you're tr- you're just sitting there wanting to mop up some of their viewers. I'm sitting there watching. I'm like, look at all these viewers. What can I do to make those viewers my viewers? I want to sop up some of this shit. Mm-hmm. Like, do I do more karate? <laughs> there, and is there karate in the in the program? There actually is. I do one karate kick for the pro- for the program. <laughs> really? That's actually at, literally true. <laughs> at the very beginning of the first episode? Nope. <laughs> Just to hook people? End of episode nine of ten. <laughs> okay, well, you <laughs> gotta wait for it. Stuck around. But it is worth it. <laughs> <laughs> and in wit- and you say end of episode ten or yeah, nine. 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 Is it literally like freeze frame and credits on this kick? Or? Uh, it's it's a <laughs> actually so in, in in episode nine we do like a whole uh, Boogie Nights, like I don't say parody, but like we're doing like an awards ceremony and uh, yeah, yeah, parody is for lesser comedians. It's for lesser comedians. Well, You're satirizing, sa- exactly. <laughs> like parody, <laughs> oof. <What? laughs> My uh, Doctor Demento, Dement. <laughs> he he lost the O at the end. Did you hear about that? I did not hear that. He's Doctor Dement now, and he gave it to Weird Al. So Al is Weirdo Al now. Huh, I didn't Isn't that know strange? This. I don't. It was a, like a strange trade-off they had. They had some. I, I heard when they met in the early '80s, they agreed that if they were still working together 30 years from then, yeah. that they would do a switch. It's a really weird story. So I mean, no, no joke. But does that make him weirdo Al? It's weirdo Al now. Yeah, weirdo Al, weirdo Al Yankovic. It's. I I didn't understand it. Like I wasn't getting the details. As much as I heard this, they they had talked about this back in the eighties, yeah. And then they were locked in. You ever get into one of those things where like you're dating a girl and you yeah, know, hey, it's not, not working out now, but you know, if neither of us are, you know, and that it, was the thing. If neither of us have done it by 2017, I think it happened. Uh-huh. Then we're both each going to do it, and it, uh-huh. yeah, it was really strange. That is strange. Like, and then like, did 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 Weird Al like remember it, or did like Doctor Dement come and be like, hey, by the way. You know, it was it, it definitely the power imbalance. You could tell what it was because <laughs> Doctor Dement was like, like literally Rumble New skin. Year's Day, like the New Year baby himself, <laughs> yeah. ringing up Weirdo Al, just going like, "Hee hee hee! Do you remember? <laughs> remember me? You, uh, you tell me my name, or I'll take your baby." <laughs> he did take his baby too. A lot of people yeah. don't know that Weirdo Al had a baby that year. I did know that, and gone now. Yeah, and Doctor Dement is raising him as his own. Mm-hmm. So anyway. Yes. Is that all you want to say about the show? Uh, oh, you so just do a karate kick? I just do a karate kick. And no, then, what happens? Uh, and so it's about uh, two. No, no, what happens with a karate kick? Oh, I don't care the about the show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the karate, the karate, it's, it's, a, it's a scene for scene uh, Boogie Nights award ceremony mm-hmm. uh, scene. So, like, in, in that, uh, Dirk Diggler does, does a kar- that karate uh, kick. Yeah. And I, so I match that karate kick. You match it, really? I match it. You match it. I'm talking about the same height. Are you talking like you lined up the frames side by I, side? I watched, and watched it very closely, like the whole thing, like mm-hmm. so like it could match every like motion. Any kind of CGI uh, with that leg getting it up as high as he got it? <sighs> nope, just stretching. Just stretching. How much did you stretch before this scene? Uh, a couple times. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. As many as two. As many as two, upwards of three. <laughs> Wow. Uh, I would love it if some of the uh, sharp-eyed fans out there were to take a screen capture of that moment and uh, send it to me and Sam on Twitter. And, uh, you know, uh, maybe, put, I don't know, is, could this go viral? Yeah, I mean, it could. This, this, is this the, might go this viral. This is the makings of, uh, it's definitely of a viral. like a meme situation. Yes. I'm sort of getting, I don't know, I'm not that... 
really uh, all that culturally aware of memes, but I think this might yeah, be one. Like, I mean, I like to look at a meme every here and there, and I think this is something I would look at. If I've it looked was at one once, day. and I was like, ah, it's not for me. <laughs> I turned away. But Fair. Yeah, I would I look like, at this SpongeBob, one. SpongeBob, it's, like, it's not moving. It's just like a picture of SpongeBob. Right. He looks right. very nervous. He does. Always. Too nervous. Too nervous. There's that one where the, the, the who is it? Andre clenches his fist. Uh-huh. Yeah, I did, uh, it wasn't for me. Yeah, uh, Arthur. Arthur, that's who it was, not Andre. Not Andre. Not Andre 3000? Uh, well, he clenches his fists, but Does you can't he? hear it in the album. <laughs> every, I swear to God, every once in a while, I just heard like a... <laughs> just like a knuckle cracking. <laughs> yeah. That's drums. Those are drums. Those are drums. Oh, that's what drums are. Yes, 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 yes. They happen like every second. Uh-huh. It's yeah. Like, sort of like, that would be too much to like crack your knuckles. That's what it was. Every second. That's definitely what it yeah, was. I, th- I think, I think. What is rapping? Rapping, it's just like talking with a rhythm. Are you doing it right now? Oh, am I? Or am I? I I'm not. I really can't. You're not. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, So Champaign Ill, I know of the town Champaign, Illinois. I want to say that's uh, but I... Mm -hmm. uh? Yeah, that's it. Yeah? Yeah. Champaign, Illinois? Champaign, Illinois. Illinois. Um, and is is this a show based upon the city? So do do you and Adam play buildings or uh, we play university buildings? Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, and the, you know, and, and the idea is like, how do these university buildings come together to to, to form one super to building? Form one super building, exactly. yeah, like a hall of justice kind of thing that the super friends would be housed in. Yeah, yeah, Ex- exactly. Mm-hmm. And like the problem is like there's a wall. On, each of us have a wall. Yeah, and the and city pro- code as well. Like, yeah, you can't exactly. build. Well, you can't build buildings literally an inch apart from each other. Just won't work. Like yeah. it's hard to build. First off, like yeah. how do you lay that brick? How do you do it? How do you do it? And you that's what a lot of episodes are about. How do yeah. you do it? Right? Exactly. How do you lay brick? Exactly. Are these the YouTube videos I've seen about how to lay brick? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we're like, how do we make these uh, go these viral. viral videos mm-hmm. into? Uh, Karate Kid uh, rivaling right Boogie Nights parody parodying series. Mm-hmm. I so think you, we did that. You and Adam. Adam's an interesting fellow. He's been on this show many times, uh, and uh, then he upped and moved away to New York. As far as I'm concerned, and I never see him anymore. But you guys have decided to make a show together. How does that work? Uh, well, I I uh, kind of just knew Adam in passing, but the where are you passing him? Uh, passing him at, at on, parties. Like on the freeway? On or? the freeway. And I'm like, I think that's Adam Pally. Eat my dust, Eat sucker. My dust, and I'm cutting him off, and he's veering into the median. Mm-hmm. That, you know, uh, next time beat me. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you just saw him at parties. Did he, who contacted who? Uh, so the Libman brothers and David Casp and Jordan Cahan. Oh, this is David's thing. This is David's. This is David's thing. Okay. Yep. yep. I got it now. Mm-hmm. This is David's thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this uh-huh. is a David joint. Yep, yep, yep. So they reached out. They reached out to you. Uh huh. Oh, and said, that's how it reached, goes. They reached out to me, and I, I like read it. Hook, line, and sinker. They got me. Yeah, you you were on Reddit and what? I was I was <laughs> I was on Reddit, and I got upvoted. <laughs> so they got upvoted, and you're like, I gotta get. I, was like, I gotta, I gotta see on. this front page. Um, what is the what is the show? David seems to only create shows that are Chicago based, so I I should have smelled it when I read this title yeah. that it had just the Casp air about him. <laughs> but uh, what? T- tell me, uh, other than the location, what is this show about? Uh, this, this show is about like two uh, guys who are in the entourage of their high of their like childhood best friend, uh, whose name is Ill Lou. Ill. <laughs> He's a he becomes a rapper, a famous rapper. Ill Lou. Ill Lou. Okay. Uh, and two guys. Hold on now. Two guys. You, I'm on board. Yep. Are what? They're they're in their 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 childhood friends' entourage. They're in their childhood friends' entourage. So their childhood friend became Ill Lou, this rapper. Mm-hmm. And you guys are in the entourage. Yeah. We, kinda, we leave understand. our lives behind. We follow him on the road. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so like, we kind of like don't learn how to fend for ourselves. And all of a sudden, uh, Lou's removed from the picture and we have to move back home to Champagne. Oh. Uh, and it's about how these guys kind of uh, figure acclimate, out. Acclimate, reacclimate themselves back to their previous lives. Exactly. Ill Lou. Who plays Ill Lou? Uh, Jay Farrow plays Ill Lou. Jay Farrow mm-hmm. from the that program on Saturdays. At night. That's right. Yeah, the sun went down. I remember every time I watch it, the sun seems to be down. Mm-hmm. Typically dark. 
it's usually not on because it's ready, but because it's Saturday at 1130. Is that the one I'm thinking of? Y- yes, yes. Right, got it. Uh, <laughs> okay, I think, uh, and, and so he's removed from the picture. You're being, being very dicey and uh, sort of cagey yeah. and coy about that. Yeah, uh, he dies. I said it. There you go, spoiler alert. He dies. <laughs> Everybody dies. Every, I mean, That's a fact of life. It, do you think, what was the uh, first movie... Okay, we all know the first movie of the train that's coming right at the audience, mm-hmm. and everyone ran out. Mm-hmm. But I think they're remaking that, actually. Yeah, I yeah. would love to see it, because I uh, need a little exercise. <laughs> but I, what do you think is the first movie that was made that every cast member was dead in? Do you uh, know what I mean? No I, don't mean <laughs> no, I don't mean the premise everyone oh, was dead. Oh, okay. I mean, the first movie, like, they started making movies in 1918 or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then what was the first movie that that suddenly every cast member that was in it had passed away? You know what I mean? Because Wizard of yeah. Oz, those uh, uh, munchkins, still they last. No, I think the last one oh, passed okay. away recently. And I think Bert, Bert Lahr obviously is no longer with us, but I think everyone's gone. Uh-huh. From that. I mean, I, right. I guess so. But do you th- do you think there was like someone it's there's got to be some film historian out there who was like, Oh yeah, well, in 1923, a freak accident happened, yeah, and just, every cast member was just suddenly just wiped out. Everybody on trip yeah, to the moon. I wonder what it was. Hmm. I I'm gonna I'm gonna guess City Lights. Yeah, Chaplin. Chaplin, the little tramp. Yeah. Big influence on you? Oh yeah, F- physical comedy. Mm-hmm. Just in the mustache. Just the mustache. Yeah, you've grown. Uh, I was going to call it a Hitler, but yeah, no. My grandfather actually had this mustache. Really? Mm-hmm. He gave it to you. Pass it down. Pass it down in a little box. <laughs> opened it up. Put it <laughs> How on. How do you apply that thing every day? A little uh, uh, stick them. What do you call it? You call it a uh, uh, the, the spirit, spirit gum, gum. or a yeah, spirit yeah. Gum. Okay, stick them. Definitely uh, not the way to apply a fake mustache. No, you don't want it because it will fall off. What do you do when when and you've been in sketch comedy mm-hmm. and you uh, started off in uh, as far as I know Second City in Chicago. Is that correct? Uh, sorry, Second City in Detroit. Detroit, actually. and then you and went then to Chicago, Chicago or uh-huh. yeah. Uh, what do you do? And this is for everyone listening out there who who uh, maybe dreams of being a, uh, a comedian. Uh, I almost said famous comedian, but uh, yeah, no, 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 not no. the case. But okay, someone of your stature who uh, 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 critically beloved uh, on shows such as Veep and Detroiters, uh, they want to do sketch comedy. What what is your suggestion of what to do when a fake mustache falls off in a sketch? Incorporate it. Incorporate you know, it. You gotta give a big whoa, whoa, whoa. and then- yeah. Just a big whoa. Yeah, whoa, no. If you're wearing glasses, sort of take them off take and them like off do and a like, googly eyed <laughs> boy. Oy, oy, oy. Exactly. And say check, please. You check, go. please. I, uh, I guess I don't need a shave. How many of your sketches ended with check, please? I'd say 97%. Yeah, that's a high number. But, but like 90 of them were in a, a restaurant. So <laughs> right, it, so yeah. It was you were natural the, end. You were the king of restaurant comedy oh, in Detroit, from absolutely. what I heard. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a, my, my object work. You tell a meatball from you know you're uh, you're do you're you're doing some object work right now that this is a no this is a let's see if you can tell okay well I was gonna say meatball but I don't think so it looks oh you plucked something off of the top of it then you took a bite it's a human skull that's right yes because I made you see it yes without thank you. seeing it yeah wow you're incredible oh thank you well speaking of incredible champagne ill uh, David Casp joint. Is on YouTube Premium. It uh, debuted last uh, month, but all the episodes are available. And as far as I can tell, you made ten of these things. In ten of them. And in nine, you do a karate kick. Yeah, and that's pretty much all you need to know about the show. <laughs> right. And so, and someone dies in it. Someone dies. Did Jay Farrow die, or did his character die? Uh, see, now that one, I don't know if I can give that spoiler. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the first three of these are for free. So I, I know there's a lot of people out there who are like, you know, I can't afford YouTube Premium, but I, I want to check this out. You can go over there and check it out on YouTube Premium right now. And the first, it, you won't see the Karate Kick. Yeah, you won't see you won't see the Karate Kick. Karate Kick is behind that paywall for, yeah. with, with, with good reason. For good reason, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you ever, yeah, I don't know. You ever think about maybe mixing it up and putting out, you know, episode nine from behind that nine paywall? For, uh, yeah, just... you do like one, nine, and then two. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm just shooting an email. Or, hey, if you're, if you're an exec from YouTube listening right now. Oh, they're all listening to this. Toss that on your... Uh, toss that shrimp on the Barbie. Toss that shrimp on the Barbie. Sure, certainly. Check, please. <laughs> oh, check, please. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm doing a bow right Wonderful. now. Wonderful. <laughs> 
All right. Well, we need to, Sam, uh, hopefully you can stick around. Is that okay? Oh, yes. Please. Okay. We need to get to our next guest. Uh, he is the aforementioned uh, National Basketball Association. Oh. What was it? What There was the ABA, right? ABA. The, was all, the American. Amer- American Basketball Association. Right. And they, they used to be there at the same time. Uh-huh. And then suddenly the NBA like just, just it. sucked it up and 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 shit it out. And now we have what is known as the NBA. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a head coach. Uh, please welcome Coach Gan Vundy. Oh, thank you for having me here today, Scott. Uh, yeah. it's, it's our Sam. pleasure. This is hey. Sam. Yeah. Sam, Sam Richardson well. from Have Have you ever seen the uh, television show Veep? Uh, I sure have. Yeah, with uh, Julia uh, uh, Louis uh, Louis Louis Dreyfus. Mm-hmm. You a Seinfeld fan? Uh, I am a Seinfeld fan. Yeah. Fanatic or just someone who's seen Seinfeld? Yeah, just aware of. I would call myself uh, an appropriate level fan of the show. Okay. <laughs> appropriate meaning at at its peak, you would watch it every uh, week, much like everyone in that appropriate in that level, or but but not a, in someone who knows trivia. <clears throat> I was uh, watching uh, primetime TV when it was on, and I would watch it every week. I have occasionally watched it in uh, reruns. Occasionally. Uh, I have had a few conversations with friends over the years where we go, uh, hey, what's your favorite episode of Seinfeld? We sort of go around the horn and everyone shares their favorite episode. You ever do one of these with your friends, like which Seinfeld character are you? At as of this time, I have not done that. That would be fun to do with your friends. Yeah. yeah. I, I would ask you, which which one would you say you identify yourself with? Out of the four, yeah. yeah. Well, for a long time, I think I uh, saw myself as a, as a Jerry. Mm-hmm. Uh, sort Jeff, of the straight Jerry man? Seinfeld, the main... The, uh, yes, Jerry Seinfeld, yeah. yes, the main character. And um, lately, I've... Uh, kind of been taking on a, a, a bit of more of a Kramer energy. Oh, really? A little Kramer more frenetic? Kramer is Jerry's neighbor who uh, enters From abruptly. across the hall, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 is that due to circumstantial changes in your life? or uh, It's actually uh, related to why I'm here today. Oh, why are oh, you? No. Oh, I I was under the impression you were here to talk about Seinfeld. Is that not the case? Uh, I, it, th- that is not why I had planned on being here. I'm happy to do it. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> let, maybe we could alternate questions. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so one about whatever you're here to talk about, and then we'll dip into Seinfeld trivia. I feel comfortable with that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Sam, you have anything locked and loaded for Seinfeld uh, trivia? Seinfeld question? Yeah. Yeah. You a fan of Seinfeld? I, I am a fan of Seinfeld. Okay, great. So just have those at the ready. Okay. Because I, I, I'm going to need that. So uh, I guess my first question would be, uh, Coach Gan Vundy, uh, w- what team are you the coach of? Uh, I am the coach of the uh, uh, Bismarck Dinner Dogs. They're a an expansion team. Oh, one of the new expansion teams. New okay, expansion I, teams. I guess I haven't heard about this one. Yeah, I, um, I, it, it doesn't come on my league pass. Yeah, yeah, we're not a uh, we're but we're behind the uh, the extra paywall on the league pass. Meaning they're not televised. They will televise if we're playing a team like uh, the Houston Rockets. They will televise the Houston players. Um, uh, but our players are covered by big green boxes. <laughs> okay, so so there you don't have a deal then with the NBA, the people who televise NBA games currently, so they have to hide you guys. Yeah, there's not the interest there, mm-hmm. and uh, they're trying to uh, play they're, into they're the They're actively the trying to hide. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, right. the mystery. Yes. So people are. you're hoping the people will be like, Wow. Uh, Got to see what's happening uh, from behind these green boxes. That's really hooked me. That's like the mm-hmm. end of a, uh, the first act of a great mystery, a whodunit. That's right. Right. Our first three games were free, and then all, all the rest were <laughs> okay. uh, behind the green boxes. Sam, uh-huh. Seinfeld question? Uh, was the soup Nazi normalizing? Normalizing for, uh, for Nazism? For Nazism. Yeah, yeah, you know, there's been a big uptick in... Uh, certainly the alt-right and uh, uh, that that type of behavior this year. Do you think it was due to the soup Nazi? Uh, I, I, I think he could – he's he's part – he shoulders a portion of the blame. Yeah. A portion. A portion. Yes. A generous portion, like a healthy portion? Very small portion. Okay. I would give uh, Larry David and Jerry Seinfeld a bigger portion as okay. the writers as, and creators. As, as to the rise of the alt-right – that's you would right. give Larry David a bigger portion than yes, I would. a generous portion for him? <laughs> yes, I would say that. <laughs> okay. yeah. Great. All right. That answers my question. All right. Um, so now why are you here? 
Uh, well, you were I, about to take a sip of something, and I asked you that question. You, you, you go ahead. Uh, Sam and I will stall while you take yeah. a little sip of that. You, you go right ahead. All right, and I will let you know when I'm done. Okay. Sam, with the, the Seinfeld question, like you hit him with a really yeah, tough sorry, round. A, a, a real right hook right off the bat. Yeah, I, I mean, know. Like you almost flattened him. <sighs> we have yeah, because I wanted the truth. And yeah, I, I if, know, I, if, but if I if I softball, trying to just ease up yeah. a little bit. I mean, okay. it's a friendly okay. interview that we're fair, trying to do. Fair here. enough. You done with that yet? Ready to go when you okay. go. You're ready yeah. to go. Okay. Why are you here? Uh, well, I have been in the news lately uh, for some uh, uh, of my behavior, uh, both on and off the court. And uh, the team and also the league has asked me to – they're sending me on a press tour to just sort of clear the air about what's going on. So, so. you've been in the news due to some of your behavior on the court? Yeah. On and the, on, off the court. That's right, yeah. So, let's talk about your behavior on the court. Uh, well, if uh, you have if, – if you've paid to be able to see our games – Right. Uh, actually, Spectators. you wouldn't see this because you don't have. You have to be there live. But um, at are, our, at our uh, when people pay to see you live, are they also trying to disguise the identities of all the players? Uh, yeah, they. Uh, if you haven't paid to uh, watch us, um, they put the guys in these uh, green sacks, <laughs> so anyone can come in to watch. But the people who have not, not anyone, you have to pay, you have to buy a ticket. You have to buy a ticket. So then who are the sacks for? Because <laughs> the- <laughs> oh, you're, you're inside. Theoretically, you're inside. Yeah. Who are the Our guys, uh, they're anyone sacks. Anyone sneaks in? They're, they're, they are sacks. Uh, their feet stick out the bottom so they can still run, which is good. Oh, thank okay. goodness. Um, and then everyone who comes in to watch the game, if you have paid – to watch the dinner dogs, then mm-hmm. you get special glasses that allow you to see through the set. Like those yeah, x-ray okay. glasses advertised in the back of comic books? Yeah. I guess they're they like that. Are they virtual the reality? Or, yeah. I mean, they're like that, and then they're also glasses. They're not like that in that they're available immediately, and you don't have to mail away. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, sure. Fair. So if you go to this game, everybody there is wearing glasses. <laughs> That are like one sure. eye red, one eye blue. And how many people are sneaking in and don't get the glasses? Is it worth it? The expense for the glasses? Yeah. And isn't like not wearing the glasses enough of a <laughs> indicator that person has not paid? Shouldn't they just toss these people? Yeah. What I'll say is a lot of these questions are above my pay grade. They are. I mean, you're getting paid. Coach. A lot of money to be a head coach of an NBA team, I it would imagine. It is true, yes. But so, but you, you think that's for people above that? I, You know, they're the, the owner of the team, that's a different job. Okay, you know? right. Don't you think that some of those questions should be, like, logistical questions about the games themselves? It's should changed be the by. way I coach. Yeah. It's Are, definitely changed the way I you're coach. You're coaching differently because of the glasses. Well, yeah, because a lot of the times, in most of the games, my guys are not allowed to use their hands. They're not and, because um, of the sacks? Inside of the sacks. It's a major part of... Uh, that's major part of the game. That's a good fifty percent of basketball, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, it's is interesting the hands to the feet to the to the ground. It's interesting the way that uh, we've adapted, and I think that we've kind of got a rhythm going now with no hands. Is it and, like what do you do? Is it like soccer, or how do you bounce the ball around? How do you how does one dribble on your team? Yeah. Are you familiar with uh, a small aquatic animal uh, called a seal? Yes, I am. I is that what the Navy SEALs are based are off based of. off of? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm That's who they're protecting, is my understanding. Ah. Okay. They're they're protecting SEALs. The, SEALs. Oh, the Navy SEALs are. They killed the Osama regular... bin Laden too, didn't they? Yeah. A couple of them. He was coming for SEALs. He was coming for SEALs. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh-huh. So that's what they were upset about that's what they with were that upset guy. About, yeah. Interesting. Among other things. Okay, so I I believe Sam and I both are Familiar with the concept of a seal, if not, you know, uh, really intricately involved. Yeah. Well, a, a, a seal is able to catch a, a beach ball on its nose. Okay. And so uh, my guys are able to sort of catch a basketball on their on the on the tip of their heads, uh-huh. the top of their heads. So not their noses. Well, the nose is under the sack. So. Oh. Okay. Oh, got it. Yeah. So, but the top. So the sack is cut off at forehead level. Oh no, they're fully in the sack. Fully in the sack. Is oh, there, I see. like eye holes. Uh, we tried that, <laughs> but because of the movement on the court, uh, they kind of get twisted and turned around. So, oh, okay. Uh-huh. What I've been doing is in practice. I have them practice in the sack. 
Uh, and that okay. kind of helps them get ready for games. I would imagine. <laughs> Probably. And yeah. now. It's like soccer players aren't out there practicing just throwing the ball around. Yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. All right, get into the game. <laughs> game conditions, you kind of want to practice under those. Yeah, so. Well, at first we did some like practices. You sound like a good coach. First we did some practices with uh, bandanas, and I said, this is not <laughs> This is almost it, but not <laughs> completely it. Yeah. And did you have the sacks lying around while you were practicing with these sure. bandanas? Yeah. Just pick up Our the game sacks. Day sacks. <laughs> well, first thing I did was call the owner and say, I think you should order another set of sacks that'll be our practice sacks. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Double We've the got sacks. Practice sacks. What did he say? Well, he agreed. The problem is practice sacks way bigger than our game time sacks. So uh, it is oh, a completely no. different feel. But yeah, that's yeah. too bad. Now, big, does bigger it's make all, that it was more on me. to use? Bigger, uh, you know, they get a little bit more uh, range of motion in terms of their limbs, but there is a, a greater deal of tripping, or there was, I mm-hmm. should say, because they've started it. Now they're pretty good at they're pretty practice good at and it. game time. Set. Now, these these sound like incredible athletes to be able to play blind uh, with all of their movement restricted thusly. Uh, I would say if any of these guys get traded to a different team, uh, they are going to be dominating. Like the Harlem yeah. Globetrotters suddenly, because... Of yeah, the stuff they can do in the sack. They're playing with such a, a deficit here. Yeah. Yeah. So, amazing. Sam, hit him with the Seinfeld Yeah. Question. Do you think uh, uh, Newman and uh, and Kramer were, like, really friends, or they just find, like... Yeah, Is it like uh, a, a friendship of convenience? Of convenience. You know, I think a lot of friendships sort of start that way uh, due to proximity. Who's your best friend? Uh, my best friend. Yeah. Uh, his name is uh, Keith Cavenwood. Keith Cavenwood? Yep. <laughs> and what does What's Keith he, do? Keith, he is a, <laughs> uh, he, well, he's a used car salesman. Really? Yes. So pre owned cars? Pre owned cars. And cars that were owned by someone. Uh, they've had their fill of the car. <laughs> they've had their time in the sun. You, are you familiar with uh, <laughs> I ca- am. cars? Okay. I am. So anywhere from one day to uh, sometimes it can be up to 60 years. Yes, seventy mm-hmm. years. Uh, some, seventy I, years. I think seventy Jay, years for one car. Jay Leno, I believe, has some that are probably over a hundred years old. Yeah, mm-hmm. at least wheels. Yeah, at least the wheels. At yeah. least the wheels. Yeah, he probably has a couple. If you go in his garage, he's probably like, "Ah, eh, just got the wheel for this one." <laughs> this, this, like, this, the wheel. this is all right. Yeah, yeah I, like, oh, the cool. wheels are the wheels are fine. I because think he can imagine the whole thing. Yeah, because he, he he's a wheel head. Yeah, exactly. So Keith, where did you meet Keith? Uh, we started out. Uh, as friends, because we lived on the same block. And you did, so huh? We started out from proximity, but then over shared experiences and uh, acts of kindness towards each other, uh, our friendship deepened. And uh, now, even though we live very far away from each other and are completely different fields, we still have a special bond. And where does I would he still live? I'm sorry, him my best friend. Where did you both live? That you were on the same block. What what uh, what town was this? Uh, in the center of Lake Michigan. In the, ah, s- in the center of the lake center? itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah there were, on an island? Uh, on, a, on a floating uh, sort of a paddock. Uh, <laughs> you both lived on a paddock mm-hmm. in the center. Uh, well, our families did. Yeah. Your families did. Okay, no, okay. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It was a, it was a three-family paddock and mm. uh, Got the, it. Third, Sir- the third family, no children, just birds. Okay, were you, had- were you friends with this uh, uh, birdful family? Uh, they were birds. They were birds. Yeah. Oh, it was a they family of birds. birds. Oh, God, I yeah, thought you meant okay. they didn't have children. They had birds. I could see why you would think that from how I said it. Right. Yes. Uh, but that's just a misunderstanding. They were, in fact, birds. I would say I, I was friends with those birds. You were? Not in the same way that I'm friends with human beings. Mm-hmm. But uh, I would say that um, I showed no ill will towards them and they didn't towards me. Sure. And there's not a lot of communication, I would imagine, between birds and yourself. Tried. Okay, I bet. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> now, why though? You mentioned your your behavior on the court uh, and off the court. What is this behavior? Seem like a drop in the bucket, uh, really, when you look at the whole picture <laughs> of <laughs> sort of what the team is going through right now. <laughs> okay. But I'll tell you what, it's not helping. Right. It sounds like there's a lot of challenges with the team. I've just had a, purely in the sport. Sure. I've had a lot of erratic behavior on the court because. Uh, yeah, at, at, at our uh, recent game, we played a game in Phoenix, and after the game, uh, a trickster demon uh, by the name of Azaban approached me outside my hotel room <laughs> uh, in the form of a coyote, and he offered to help us uh, win games, and uh, I took him up on his offer. So 
You what? did okay. Yeah, like, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm curious. Was he did so? He was in the form of a coyote and yeah. spoke like a like a, like a man did he or speak an in coyote language, and you suddenly somehow understood it. Or was he speaking in English? Right. Or was it like a disembodied voice? He was speaking in English. Uh, his mouth was moving. Okay. Um, Did it match the English words or were, was it just kind of going up and down – much like uh, one of those, you know, pet movies from the 80s yeah. where mm-hmm. all they did was they got the, the animals butter, to, like, lick peanut course. butter. Or, yeah. I would say the every movement of his mouth matched perfectly with the sounds that he was making. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So that's, yeah, that's legit right and that, there. that struck me as strange. Uh, that's right. You would have expected it the other way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I'm more familiar with. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. No, Absolutely. Uh, my childhood friend Keith is a prankster. So if there's a coyote outside my hotel room and it's just going meow, 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 and there's words coming, I'm going to You would have thought is Keith has from set Keith. something up. Classic yeah. Keith. What are some of the pranks he's played? He sounds really funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, <laughs> You're just laughing thinking about it. Oh, yeah. They're <laughs> very good and uh, <laughs> really excellent pranks. Yeah, well thought out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nothing done off the top of his head, like years of meticulous nope. planning. <laughs> really thought about something that was really going to make me uh, stand up and say, what the heck is going on here? I don't know that we have time to get into these pranks, though, uh, because I, I still don't know what you mean when you said you made some sort of a compact with oh, this yeah. this uh, prankster demon, is that what you said, named Azaban? Yes, that's his name. Yeah. Azaban. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and he... He offered you. He offered to help us win games, and uh, I think help you win games, or you were gonna win the games. Like, what was the deal that you made? He uh, implied that <laughs> winning would happen. Implied. Uh, there was no. <laughs> there was no guarantee. Uh, he didn't. You know. So I, you inferred from just his general demeanor. Well, he has a very sly tongue, and he's very convincing. Yeah. Okay. Do you, I mean, I don't know if you like, recall like what like his words were. You know, he's a trickster. I mean, I'm just just even like off the bat. I'm like, interesting. Yeah, I would have parsed his words really, you know, to make sure that you were getting what you expected to get from him. Uh, he promised me that uh, we would make the playoffs this year. Okay. Oh, okay. At least. Okay. At least. Uh huh. <laughs> why don't you yeah. now? Why don't you say that's a good first offer? But we want to win the championship. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we're. Uh, the position that we're in right now is a new team. Uh, You're happy with the playoffs? From playing within inside of uh, sacks. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. uh, you know, I think if I made the playoffs, I, I'd be pretty darn happy. So Okay, yeah. so you were just, you were fine with that. Uh, I saw, I, I, that seemed like a great deal to me. Okay, so you entered into this arrangement? Mm-hmm. And since then, I think we have been playing better and... You know, you see the difference. Uh, You've been winning games. Yeah. We've been winning games. You've been yes. winning games. Oh, I was going to ask, like, are you just scoring at all? Uh, well, we did uh, start scoring more points um, than the other and team. And that's how you win the games. The yeah. number of points that we were able to score a lot of times have resulted in, in a victory. They've exceeded the points of the opposing team. They're also scoring points. The, okay, yeah. uh, I, I was confused on that. Well, and and yeah. as I made this uh, pact with him, I thought maybe there's a chance that these guys are just going to be putting up air balls or just uh-huh. slipping and falling and not shoot, making any <laughs> Right, or eating anybody. bananas on the court and yeah. tossing the peels over their shoulder uh-huh. and making their their players, their teammates slip on them. Uh, based on what I can see, uh, their play has not changed at all. Oh, okay. Really? So it's just the same standard of play? <laughs> yeah. I think the way that these trickster demons work is they uh, affect the team that they are in cahoots with and, uh-huh. and have no bearing, no on, the bearing other on the other like, team. Yeah, the Great. one who enters in the contract. They is, can make is. us better. They can't make them worse. Because, yeah, I guess that would be very unfair to the other team to make them worse because that would affect their – like, you know, I mean, a lot of these teams, they, they want to be traded to – the players want to be traded to other teams. And if That's suddenly right. they're playing poorly, mm-hmm. that would be – that would negatively affect their future Their employment. future, their families. Right. You know, uh, and all that branches on. Each one, each one of these guys is themselves like a company. So that would infect the bottom line of like everybody. Are you talking about Seinfeld right now? I am or? talking about Seinfeld. Okay. How much per episode do these guys make? How much did each of the cast members make? Yes. Or, sorry, and, each, and the characters. And the characters, yes. Yeah. And the characters as well. <laughs> yes, it prorated. Mm-hmm. Most, I would say most episodes took place over 
three days? Over, like over three days. I know the yeah. Chinese restaurant one that was over uh, twenty two minutes. Yeah. but most of them are an average of three days. Three days. You, Prorate their salaries to how much they're probably making. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, and then like and then take it from like uh, like ninety five bucks to two thousand nineteen bucks. Yeah, if you could. Yeah, I'll be able to do that. Okay. And then, uh, do you want me to factor in now? Jerry was a comedian pretty much the entire run of the show. Uh-huh. George had a number of different jobs, so I, and so did mm-hmm. Elaine and Kramer. Now that I'm thinking, I would about it. say average out their salaries as well. Based on yeah. every job. Based okay. on every job they had. Yeah, Jerry was pretty consistent, although he did sell the TV show. He sold the TV show with and George, George. Yeah, did it too, but yeah. George seemed to lose all of his money too. Uh-huh. And anyway, yeah, have at it. Okay. And then do you want the answer uh, by the end of the show? Or? Oh, no, I'd like it I mean, relatively yeah, quickly. Yeah, 45 uh, seconds. Yeah, if Jeopardy rules. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right. I don't think I hit it. Was it too much of a hardball question? I think I don't. Really, he seems like he's able to handle like it. Yeah, it. Right? Yeah. Okay. I think so. What was George's role as a part of the Yankees organization? I'm starting from someplace that I'm a little bit comfortable with. He had, All I've done so far is on a piece of paper I've written down Jerry, and then George. next to him I've written George. Right. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then uh, once I factor out those two guys, I'm going to flip the paper over, mm-hmm. and I'm going to write Elaine. <laughs> and 45 seconds. There we go. Okay. What do you? You're, uh, I need an answer. Okay. Well, um, I'm a little baby, and uh, I need to. I need you to change my diaper. <laughs> I don't think that we can accept. I, I mean, that. I want to. It's close. It's God. I, I have to apologize that I wasn't in control of my words. There, that was. Uh, yeah, that was very odd. That uh, didn't yeah, seem as, like an answer. What do you? Why did you say that? We, and uh, what do you mean you weren't in control of your words? As a band, the Trickster Demon took over. It's a part of the deal that I struck with him, which is he can control me at any time and make me do something uh, foolish and uh, silly oh, and embarrassing. Ooh, now that's so. gotta have its. That's that's gotta. Have said sometimes that's not ideal. I mean, you. This I would say is one of them because uh, I don't want that out on the airwaves that I'm a baby. I am not a baby. You're not. A, you seem to be a full grown man. Yeah. I don't know I, anything I don't, about. I the, don't need to have a diaper. The contents changed. of your diaper. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't have a diaper on. I don't, yeah, I didn't smell anything either. And yeah. A grown man's like diaper feelings. I yeah. feel like we would We'd all know. know. We know. Does this have anything to do with your behavior on and off the court? <laughs> it does. <laughs> I mean, that's an example of one thing <laughs> that has happened uh, on the court and also at home. Yeah. You've you've said those words on the court? Things things of that nature, yes. Now, normally a coach is not allowed uh, on the court during, during, like, during play, play yeah, yeah. game play. Well, I wish someone would uh, explain that to Azaban. Do you uh, think Azaban knows or is... I think he does know. Uh, He's not confused about the rules of the well, NBA. The one thing I will say is he does seem invested in us winning now, okay. and that is part of his deal. So <laughs> right. having me run on the court and get technical a lot of times will stop, <laughs> right. impede us from. So uh, I would imagine and, during gameplay you're sort of safe. He's uh, he's a little bit of a nuisance, this guy, but he is a he is a creature of his word, and, mm. and he does want us to win. So okay, yeah, yeah. He tries to keep my sort of uh, silly behavior to. Uh, pre-game activities, the national anthem. Well, what are some of the things you've done during the national anthem? The other yeah. night during the national anthem, uh, he had me run out onto the court, and I took the microphone away from the young lady that was singing the national anthem, and I announced to everyone that I was the poo-poo king, and that I love poo-poo, <laughs> and that I'm uh, proud and humble to be its king, and obviously, you know, that's not true. That's, None of that's no, true. No, no. <laughs> I mean, I don't know that it's yeah. obvious that's I mean, not true. Yeah, but. I, yeah I, I'd say. I'd say <laughs> did, did, did I strike you guys as possibly uh, as like a poo sovereign? Poo-poo. I don't know that anyone who has that sort of like scatological fetish really presents themselves as someone, unless maybe they have smelly hands sure, when you shake hands with them right. or something. Maybe but, it's hidden, yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I don't have an opinion one way or the other on mm. whether or not you're the poo king. Mm. Yeah, especially as like a king. You know, like all that's essentially yeah. got to be like sacred stuff. So you're not just like flaunting it. Yeah, really. exactly. I would assume. I would assume. Right. So, you know, I mean, my mental picture of that was always different because I always thought that maybe if someone was an actual poo poo king, that they would um, be dressed in the finest garments. Uh, the finest garments that one can buy, as, yes, yeah, but yeah. and then also covered in fecal matter. That or? is kind mm-hmm. of my understanding of okay, it. Okay, a lot of this stuff is new to me. I've just mostly 
been a basketball coach. <laughs> you haven't uh, yeah. focused on that player, yeah. then coach, and then uh, you haven't had any sort of Google search of Poo Poo King or anything like that. If one were to comb through your browser history, I just am nervous about how that's going to affect my algorithms if I start looking yeah. stuff. Sure, yeah. sort of. luckily not televised either. No. The national anthem was not televised during this game? No, it wasn't. Okay, this was uh, another one of the expansion teams? Oh, well, uh, it was a home game for us. Okay. A home game for you. Okay, so even if uh, uh, the Houston Rockets were to come to your home game, it would not be televised? None of the home games are televised. None, None of the home. Nothing. Why would anyone come to play you then? Well. Is it optional for the <laughs> other teams? It is currently. Okay. And yeah. uh, a lot of the a lot of the teams I think are showing up uh, out of purely out of morbid curiosity because they've heard about the sacks and everything. And, and the poo poo king. <laughs> well, this is a newer development, <laughs> yeah. which it was the last thing we needed. So the sacks predated the compact sure. with Azaban. Sure. Uh, okay. You can understand why I'd want to. One hundred percent. You want any, any leg up? <laughs> sure. Mm-hmm. So if I had my guys on the court. Ability to see, ability to use their hands and mm-hmm. move around the court unimpeded by a big green sack. I'm not going to get into <laughs> an, any sort of agreement with any sort of like supernatural being. Certainly, I, I wouldn't certainly. do that. So you you made this deal with him, and that was part of the deal was he was able to control your body. Does this last through the season, or is this something that goes on for the rest of your life? Somewhere mm-hmm. in between, uh, somewhere less. These are good questions that I have tried to. Uh, Get some answers out of him in terms of, uh, but he is a little bit of a slippery guy and and, mm. and doesn't want to necessarily let me know the entire Can rules. You I think call he's deriving him? some yeah. pleasure. How are you talking to him? Are, are you able to summon him somehow? He appears in a puff of smoke uh, at uh, at any time, mm. uh, and he usually gives me no warning. No uh, warning uh, at all. Uh, the one thing I can count on is he has been showing up to all team meetings and practices and games. Uh, because uh, he's he's been getting in there working with the guys. He's been putting people through drills and stuff? Yes, he is. (laughs) So wait a minute, is he just coaching? Yeah, he's... Well, part of his deal was he was going to help us win games, so... uh, So he's just coaching the players? That's how he's... He's not doing it through magic? No, he's a great coach. He uh, (laughs) really knows how to talk to these guys, because there's a lot of ego uh, on our team, and uh, there's, you know, a delicate mix of personalities. (laughs) It's, they're playing for your team. I think a lot of them are upset <laughs> to be in Bismarck. I guess, yeah. 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 I, I don't I think I uh, a lot of these guys have you know worked their whole lives to be in the NBA, and they didn't imagine that they'd be a dinner dog because it didn't <laughs> exist until only a couple of months ago. So. Right. So, uh-huh. so this, so Azaban is coming to your practices. Putting the players through drills, yeah. giving motivational speeches. That's right. And then before. Sometimes during, not often, and then after games, he's inhabiting your body uh, and forcing you to do things that are embarrassing. And you've been in the news recently because of this. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Can, can I ask? <laughs> does your <laughs> which news outlets <laughs> have been covering your story? Because I haven't seen these. Uh, Bismarck Today. Oh, okay. okay. The local, uh-huh. just all local, local media. Rags and mm-hmm. such. New York Times, Washington Post. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that rag. Uh, <laughs> Does your general manager know what's going on here? Uh, he does, and he assures me that, um, you know, this is, he's very happy about the situation. Okay. And, okay. Uh, he, you know, if the contract does expire at the end of the season, he's already talking to me about trying to strike another deal with him. It sounds to me like maybe he should just make a coaching change and hire Azaban. You seem to be sort of a liability to the team now. I mean, are you getting any coaching in at all? I think a lot of the guys on the team trust me, and uh, I think also some of the behaviors he's putting me through is kind of uh, reminding us all that it's fun, you know, <laughs> what we're doing. Like I guess so, yeah. Like a during the levy. game last night, uh, they were <laughs> yeah. they were trying to play, and uh, he had me sort of waddle along the sidelines on, on my knees. And he said he had like a dwarf situation, a Tim Conway dwarf. Uh Mm -hmm. And I was referring to myself as little Tony, and I was asking the guys to get little like me and give me sweet little kisses. And, uh, you know, that's fun. The fans like it. (laughs) So you've become sort of the mascot. (laughs) mascot. Yeah. Now, little Mm -hmm. Tony, Mm -hmm. the Bismarck, what is it? Bismarck dinner dog. Dinner Dinner dogs. Mm Little Tony, the Bismarck Dinner Dogs mascot, yeah. is what you, your job essentially is. Well, I was uh, about the size of a dog, 
you know, mm-hmm. down on my knees. <laughs> right. Uh, I would imagine, mm-hmm. uh, you know, a healthier dog, a, a, a little, maybe a Great Husky Dane or, of some sort or, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Like a dinner-worthy dog. Sure. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, if were I to be the the owner, first of all, I don't, I think I would take the sacks off. I don't think yeah. they they need all this security. But uh, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say. But uh, but maybe they don't want YouTube videos out there on YouTube Premium. You know, just uh, circulating of their copyrighted games. You know, uh, so maybe I'm it's, happy to bring yeah. that idea to him. Yeah, yeah. I, I would take the that would be my first job in trying to get this team uh, uh to win but i mean secondly i would hire azaban he sounds like a great coach yeah and I, but I, w- I would keep you on as the mascot okay, you sound just, very funny just yeah. to defend myself here i i don't think he uh really understands he, he's he's been wasting timeouts and uh oh really he well, doesn't know how to get these guys to close out quarters and he, he doesn't know everything about but they've been the winning coaching. they've been winning They've been winning, but some of them have been pretty sloppy wins. How many games has Azaban lost since taking on the duties of head coach? All right. I'm going to flip over the piece of paper that I was <clears throat> using for the Seinfeld. Uh, yeah, I don't want the words Jerry and before. George to distract you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just trying to make a tally of the games that we have played. 45 seconds. Yep. All right. Okay. Eliminated with another Seinfeld question, but I don't. Yeah, I don't know. He seems very thrown by this question. Very but do you have one on deck? I mean, yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of what was the question me. again? That it was how many know. games has Azaban lost? He's since... lost to zero, yeah. But you say he's not a great coach because he doesn't know how to close out quarters? How are you closing out quarters? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we... How many timeouts are left over at the end of a game? Yeah. The, the purpose of the timeouts is not to save them all <laughs> and to have them all intact by the end of the game. You want to use these things. I'm going for a streak of... Uh, I hadn't used uh, <laughs> any timeouts so far in the end. Okay. <laughs> How are those games? Well, that was pretty impressive. We were not coming in with the win at the end of those games. You lost. You lost them. <laughs> I think we you, these guys were playing... They were pl- they were they were showing a lot of mental toughness. Uh-huh. I, think I don't I don't think they were showing anything because games. they're behind a sack. Okay, well, you and I <laughs> disagree there. You know, because it's more than just winning at the end of the day. What is it to yeah. you? What is your whole ethos as a as a coach, as a head coach? Yeah, what's your goal? To are we going to have a good story at the end of this? <laughs> Do we going to look back and go those that year in Bismarck was <laughs> what? Was, do you mean are the players going to be complaining after the game, like stories like that? Like, hey, coach made me not use the timeout when I was just right. about put my I, put I, my hands in a T for timeout. He intercepted and interceded. I find happy stories to be compelling. I find funny stories to be compelling. And sometimes stories where there's a conflict at the middle of it, those are the most compelling. <laughs> All right, look, we need to take a break, uh, uh, Coach Gan Vundy. Uh, I hope you don't mind. Uh, but uh, we're going to go to a commercial right now. Can you stick around? Uh, because Sam has another Seinfeld question for you on the other side of yeah. the break. so uh, I'm going to try to stick around. I am merely a puppet of Azaban, so uh, he, he may. He may force you to decide. run outside of the yeah, room. Of yeah, we'll turn that paper over because we have another Seinfeld question. I, okay. I bet Jerry and George are going to be involved in this. Mm-hmm. So you can use those It'll pre-written to things. To jog my memory. Yeah, yeah. okay, great. Mm-hmm. We're going to be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Scott Ackerman here. Did you know... And I hope you do, that in 2018, Earwolf published 1,785 episodes. That's over 1,591 hours. That's 66 days worth of podcast listening if you never went to sleep. Since you probably don't have that kind of time, all of the hosts and producers here at Earwolf chose their favorite episode of their show this year and made a playlist for you. Go see if your favorite episode made the cut and check out some new shows. What better place to start than the very best episode of the year, after all? Uh, I believe for Comedy Bang Bang, I might have picked an episode. I don't want to spoil it, but just check it out. Go over to Earwolf.com slash picks, that's P-I-C-K-S, to see all the selections. Again, that's Earwolf.com slash picks. All of these episodes are out from behind the paywall and Stitcher Premium members. There is a special version of the playlist just for you. Oh boy, just stir, so just uh, search Stitcher or search Stitcher 
for Earwolf Pack Picks 2018. Thanks for a great year of podcasts. We want to hear your favorites. Tell us your favorite episode of 2018 with a hashtag, hashtag slash tag Earwolf Picks. <laughs> Don't say slash tag. It's just hashtag Earwolf Picks. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back here. Sam Richardson is here with Champagne Ill on YouTube Premium right now with Adam Pally, our old friend. All 10 apps currently available. The first three are for free right now. Uh, we also have Coach Gan Vundy of the Bismarck uh, Dog... Dinner Dogs. Dinner Dogs. Mm -hmm. what, what does that mean, the Dinner Dogs? I, I keep, I'm having trouble remembering that because it's not a phrase that I've really heard before. Uh, that's, uh, that's a local uh, animal in North Dakota. It's a dog that's a good boy, and he's getting his dinner. <laughs> okay. That's uh, local uh, to North uh -huh. Dakota. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, Sam, he's you... a good boy. He gets his dinner. We hyped this before the break. You have a Seinfeld question that you wanted to ask. Yeah. Uh, it involves uh, Jerry. Uh, 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 the titular Seinfeld? The, the titular Seinfeld. Mm -hmm. uh, who do you think in uh, – uh, the, the, the foot race was a, a very uh, famous episode. Yeah. Uh, so out of the, the characters of – really struggling. Have you noticed this, Gan? Are you whispering at me? Yeah, I am. I don't know. He had those other like, questions just like, right off the bat. He was like, like ready four for of them. Like it's if one man I think that was he has Jerry. seen the show. Because the foot race is a specific. He ha he does seem to know what the foot race is, but he's really stumbling around. If it. like the, the gun didn't he, maybe go he off knows everything wrong. about it, and Would that is what maybe he's, he's just trying to brag that he knows everything, and he's like reaching to find which a one. Okay, let's hear if we, the uh, so what it, what would the number of steps be at the end of the foot race after the gunshot goes off? Do All you right. think? Good question, Sam. Good Thank question. You. Yeah, you got there. I mean, I was yeah. yeah. It, it's every word mattered. <laughs> Oh my! So is that your thinking sound? Yep. So uh, how many how many steps? You have forty five seconds. I would say uh, probably about four thousand three hundred steps. Wow! You didn't need the the. Excuse me, someone just came in. You I'm didn't need the forty five steps. Which one is a Scott? Which one is Scott? Hi, I'm I'm Scott. Excuse me, we're in the middle of a show. I uh, am so sorry to interrupt, but I'm Deb, and I'm here to pick you up. Here to. Pick me up for what? What do you mean? What your you mom told me. I'm your mom's friend from the office. She told me that she needed somebody to come pick her son Scott up, and here I am. And if you tell, uh, if you guys want to hop on in, the car's waiting outside. Where Where would okay. we be going? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You You know my mom? Yeah. yeah you, I, you know Barbara? Oh boy, <laughs> Barbie said you'd be like this. Don't worry, don't worry. You can call your mom to confirm. She asked me to come pick you guys up. We're all going to go to the soup plantation after this. It's going to be so much fun. I, uh, I, I, I mean, I drove myself here. I, don't I, know I that drove I myself need... also, but like that soup plantation sounds pretty. I good. mean, I am. A bit you can hungry. get whatever you guys want. Do you want to start with dessert? You can. I you can. I I don't know. They put it at the end of that big line. I, yeah. I, I mean, do, or do, like like. I think you have to literally at Sioux Plantation. I think you have to go through the salad line. They don't let you back into the salad line. But not they, this they, one, Scott. Wait, oh no! Oh, all right. It's a new one by the mall. Where they I mean, start mm. with dessert. You start with dessert. You get your brownies. You get your cookie cakes. You do a little bit of soft serve. You get nuts. Most of the nuts are charred. Okay. Uh, that doesn't sound too good. But Coach Fundy, what are you up to right now? Are you? Uh, I'd be willing to go along. Uh, Th that's not Azaban talking, is it? Yeah, uh, I want to go along and uh, hate to have uh, you know uh, Azaban say like "Let's go" and then pop up. You wake and up you're an and you're unwilling at, participant. You yeah. know, wake up at soup kitchen. Are you awake during these Ooh, things yeah, that's that happen, curious. or do you fall asleep and then with no knowledge of what you did during? I am unfortunately uh, painfully awake and aware of everything that's happening, and okay. usually fighting against it. But okay, I, but are you I right now? I promise that you right uh, it, right now. Uh, Joel is telling you that he wants to go to Sloop Soup Plantation. Sloop jo Joel Sloop. is what? Who's Joel? <laughs> My first name is Joel. Oh, oh, oh! I thought it was Gan. Never, I haven't said it yet. No. <laughs> I think I thought oh. your first name was Gan. No, your last coach name, Joel Gan Vundy. Yeah, my last name is Gan Vundy. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. I called you Coach Vundy. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, did you? I did. Yes, oh, okay. I, and I have no Azaban to blame yeah. for that. That you was used as a nickname, maybe Vundy Gan. Gan. In Vundy, either or the two. 
Uh, I've, uh, I've had a lot of people call me Vundy, which is why it didn't strike me as unusual when you oh, did. okay. I said Coach Vundy. Well, anyway, uh, Deb. Well, I just want to say I have a lot of experience in picking people up. Just dead weight. I can lift you up if you do pass out. Oh, oh, terrific. You you have a lot of experience literally picking Oh, my niece up. used to pass out everywhere we went. She would just pass out at the Ross, and I'd have to deadlift her out of there. Ah. Is she a narcoleptic of some sort? or She's a narcoleptic, and oh, that okay. can affect you at any age. So get tested, kids. Get in the car. How I've got all that. kind of snacks for you. Um, oh, so there's snacks in the car as well. As oh, it's a long ride, and I know you guys get cranky. How long of a ride? Where is the soup It's an hour and a half away. It's the new one by the mall. Uh, okay. I didn't. I didn't know which mall. Yeah. I guess Scott. I got your favorites in the back seat. You just got to move the baby seat. What are what snacks do you have? What favorites? Oh, I got those fat-free Oreos. Ooh. I got those Wow chips. Um, I like those. What those else do I got back great. there? I got some Tostinos. Burnt the sides just a little bit. I mean, uh, I, I guess we could end the show early and all go to the soup plantation. I mean, this I sounds kind of good. I'm, 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 I am honestly curious and a bit uh, peckish. Yeah, I didn't hear about this mall, but uh, yeah. an hour and a half is have... not that bad. I guess no. round trip three hours. I, I can speak in terms of like like the pilgrims. They'd go more than oh, a mall, yeah. an hour and a half to get to like a exactly. trading post. They came across the very Atlantic Sea itself. Indeed. So I guess we could do that. Uh, my one question is: uh, my mom told me if anyone ever picked me up, that uh, they would have to give the code word. So, um, do you have the code word, and I'll know to trust you? Plumeria. Who are you? I told you I'm Deb, Take Barb's that. friend. Plumeria okay. is not the code word. Oh, um. The Plumeria is last week's code word. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I was supposed to pick What's you up last week. What's this week's code word? You yeah. Let me call her up. You were supposed to pick me up last week? I was supposed to pick you up last <laughs> week. I'm just trying to make good on a promise. Wait. <laughs> so, you, so you're a week late? I said sorry. How old are those snacks? <laughs> oh, well, wow chips haven't been out for, I'd say, 10 years, so. <laughs> so yeah. they're very old. Very yeah. old. And a week older than that. Wait, so wait, I remember about a week ago, my mom didn't pick me up mm -hmm. after the show. And I was wondering about that, so I just took an Uber. But, uh, so he that. He really hates when yeah, you this do week that, This week he drove, I drove. Yeah, we all Coach? just drove ourselves. I was dropped off by a, by a black car from the, uh. The team sent me out here to leave. Nice. Yeah. Oh, the the publicity department of the actual team. They have a publicity department because I haven't heard of you guys. Oh, the NBA does. Yeah. Oh, the oh, I see. Uh -huh. Okay. Coach, I just want to ask you: in those black cars, do they give you a bottled water? Uh, they uh, offer aquapods, the <laughs> smaller bottles of water. I knew it. Oh. Do you have water in your exciting? in your van? I got some water in van. It's in a liter, and it's got um. Oh, you know that green food? I'm trying something Spinach? new. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Green food is a powder. Oh, 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 sorry. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> like 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 the with that that health like like health like like a green I I really don't know. Are you supposed to dump the water in it or what what, what is this? You you put the green powder in the water, you shake it up and just all day you feel like you're getting supported. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is, could I ask you a question about the flavor of the green food powder? Oh, sure. It's a bit like an algae mixed with a seaweed-type flavor. Is that your mm. question, or you had a different question, not about the taste? Well, my question was going to be, is it sour apple or lime? But I guess oh. no, it's neither one. Oh, yeah, it's a, a binary that mm. she doesn't really accept. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, um, I, uh, I mean, honestly— I could go today, but uh, a little busy today. I mean, I, I would have gone to Sioux Plantation last week in a heartbeat. Well, don't break my heart. Yeah, I wasn't going to be here last week, but I would have gone had I gotten like a phone call or something. Why are you so late? What How? how what have you been doing all week? Oh. Mm. Are you okay? Oh, boy. First a, huh, then a, uh, and then a, oh, boy. I just didn't want to talk about my stomach problems. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I just wanted to go one day without talking about my stomach problems, pick up my three favorite guys, go to Soup Plantation, <laughs> maybe try out a couple new lotions at the mall. <sighs> well, oh, now no. that you've opened the door, yeah. I feel like we should come crashing through. What are your stomach problems? It hurts real bad. Is that the, the if from something, or that's the problem? That it's real sour. Hurts? Okay. What yeah, do you I mean? mean? The feeling of it or uh -huh. the or the smell of it? What? Oh, I guess both. 
Oh, well, I was at the office. I was feeling a little gurgly in the stomach. I went to the bathroom. Nothing. Had a little bit more of that green powder. Just had to call in sick and then come pick you guys off. Dare I say, uh, I'm not like a doctor or even a sleuth or a detective. So you're neither a doctor. <laughs> neither, I'm not a doctor, not a sleuth, not a detective. Not a de- what's the difference between sleuth and detective? I think one's say? a pro. The professional like an amateur, yeah, like, amateur. Like, a sleuth you know, like, is an amateur who doesn't get paid for exactly. it. Exactly. Like you don't like you don't have like a sleuth on the LAPD. Right, right. You, you have detectives. Yes, My wife detective. is a sleuth. R- your oh, yeah? wife is? What's your wife's name? Marjorie. Mar- Marjorie. Mm-hmm. And uh I think Anne I Bundy know someone else whose maiden wife's name. name is Marjorie. Do you? Yeah, I think I do. And <laughs> okay. she was fine si- living out there in the middle of Lake Michigan. No, we got married long after I moved oh, okay. away. Long that was after. my childhood home. Oh, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lake so your parents were okay with mm-hmm. it. Let me ask you this, actually. In the middle of Lake Michigan, do you, would you consider yourself uh, from Illinois or from Michigan? Michigan. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. That was, that was all. It, okay. So there are no borders on this lake. That's part of Michigan. Lake Michigan. That's yep. in the name. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, I got to say, so your story, though, you called in sick a week ago. Mm-hmm. And then my mom said, hey, my mom Barbara said, hey, uh, Deb, if if you're sick, go pick up my son. She said, if you're sitting on the couch anyways, go get my boy. And I said, Barbie, for you, anything. Yeah. So I came out here in my Cutlass Supreme. I've got all my blankets from my bedroom in the car. If anyone wants to lay down, get cozy. Okay. Oh, and boy. what took the week, though, to get here? My stomach hurt real bad, Scott. Ugh. Okay. Well, I don't think you should get angry at him. Yeah. Uh, where Where are you getting this powder from? It's from China. Okay. Just the place? Mm-hmm. Where, uh, does it just say made in China on it or something? It, uh, it yeah. says exactly that. Okay, yeah. It's yeah. hard to get more specific than that. Yeah, fair. If they won't tell you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, I would know where to go. Yeah. How long have you been taking this powder? About six weeks. Six weeks. Mm-hmm. And how long has your stomach been hurting? About six weeks. Hmm. Okay, I see what you're getting at. No, it's there's Dr. G, Dr. G or Jai. I'm are you not paging sure. someone right now? <laughs> <laughs> These microphones are, it's a podcast. You're not, oh, okay. like, we're not, not broadcasting. To, no, no. Oh, <laughs> Dr. G, activate. Okay, well, it's not working. But you had a doctor that was uh, uh, pre- prescribed this to you? No, or? he's on the front of the packaging. On the packaging. Oh. And oh, he's got okay. two thumbs up and he's wearing a jacket. And he says, it's good. Is that jacket a lab coat by yep. chance? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, so who's got two thumbs, is wearing a lab coat, and says it's good? This guy. This guy, right? <laughs> yeah. Huh. huh. Interesting. We have the clues. <laughs> Wait, you're not a sleuth, sleuth. though. I know. And you're right, not a detective, so we can't do anything with There's these things. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> yeah. Not even can a gumshoe. Can I tell you something? <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I am so proud of you. I, I used to talk to your mom all the time. Oh, yeah? How do you, do you know Sam's mom? Oh, gosh. I just... She worked in an office with me back in in the eighties, and she would talk about you, about how her son was so curious, and just to know that you have grown up in this sort of way. I just oh. that is what a coincidence, to, a coincidence to work with both my mom and your mom. Yeah, that's yeah. incredible. And we just met. We the, just met and just doing this podcast. And, and what, like, what did your mom used to do, by the way, uh, Joel? She or worked, Coach Joel, or uh, she worked in an office uh, part time. Part time, mm-hmm. and then how was the commute back to the middle of Lake Michigan? Uh, it was uh, lengthy. Uh, the office wasn't that far away from uh, the land. Oh, okay. but uh, of course she did have to swim out. She swam yeah. really. <laughs> swim out to the land and then walk the rest of the way. Which I understand uh, how yeah. swimming mm-hmm. works. <laughs> and then land transportation. <laughs> you know, one can only swim while in water. I would imagine. Well, yeah. I I've, I don't believe I've ever seen someone on land swimming. You could well, swim in a big pool full of soda. Yeah, or a, a, a money. Is it, big, wait, is money this has been talking? Oh yeah. uh, no, it's me. But he check his uh, eyes. He made me uh, empty out. Uh, we have a pool uh, at my house, and uh, I emptied it out, and I filled it with root beer, and I took a swim in it. No, and then uh, did he did he make you put any ice cream, like vanilla ice cream, in there and make a big root I beer wish. float? That would have been fun. That would have been really fun. Been. I would have got. A, I would asked uh, Deb over here to take us over there. I mean, in a heartbeat, stomach, I would, stomachache or not. <laughs> yeah, I would on my back. My my only thing I, I appreciated that he did it on an off day for us when we didn't have a game. Didn't you didn't have a game, so I see. You know, yeah. I wanted to relax, and it wasn't unrelaxing to yeah. swim in a big pool full. I of guess, root beer. but the the actual draining the pool and the the buying all of the root beer, I would imagine, is kind of that was costly and 
inconvenient. Yeah. Right. And Did it ruin ruin any of the pool at yeah, all? It can't be good for like the plumbing of the pool, right. I'd imagine. Oh, well, the now filter. I'm concerned. Oh, I'm sorry. You, I, wait, it's I still in there? I haven't mentioned this to my pool guy yet. Oh, no. How often does your pool guy come? He comes uh, once a month. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you you got to get him in there at well, least bi weekly. Yeah, I would get, say at least really? bi weekly. <laughs> weekly, if you can, if you can. Yeah, carry if you it. can afford it. But I don't know. You're just the team mascot. So yeah. <laughs> well, you're looking at a new pool owner. When I got named the uh, coach of the dinner dogs, that's what we you did. bought the so, pool then. Yep. Oh no! Oof. How long? How many years is it going to take you to pay off this pool? Uh, we have a 50-year lease on this pool. <laughs> oh, okay. no. On the pool itself. Yeah. <laughs> You're leasing, You're the, leasing pool? the pool? <laughs> what happens if you don't pay? <laughs> they come fill it they up. They fill it with <laughs> concrete. <laughs> okay, well, look. <laughs> Deb, I'm sorry. We need to take a break. Uh, uh, we have one more segment to do. I can't leave right now just this yet is, do you mind sticking around a bit before we uh make the decision whether we're gonna uh, leave and you you said you had a van or a cutlass supreme i've got a cutlass supreme and uh my niece is in there and so it should be fine okay, okay. how old is the niece i'm a little concerned she's 13 13, 13 is okay. uh, she has sort of agency she could leave a car she could leave a car hard. and yeah. like if she is taking take up some space though in there yeah okay i feel like yeah. we can do one more segment and, oh. and your niece is going to be okay let's take yeah. a break when we come back sam uh, uh do you have another seinfeld question by the way oh on, yeah I'll, uh, I'll come with on, on spine you, you're gonna come in hot on one yeah, okay great all right great well we'll be right back with more comedy bang bang after this <laughs> Happy new year that's right it's 2019 a brand new year a fresh start how about you make listening to homophilia one of your New Year's resolutions? Homophilia, what is it? Okay. It's a great podcast, a queer comedy party where hosts Dave Holmes and Matt McConkey, two bros of mine, grill LGBTQ celebrities on what they're loving and whom they are loving. That's right. They have in-depth, hilarious conversations about everything from their pop culture obsessions um, several of which I share. Uh, Dave Holmes, you've heard him on Are You Talking R.E.M. Remy and Comedy Bang Bang, of course. Uh, we have very similar music tastes. Uh, and also they talk about their guests' personal experiences. They had insanely amazing guests in convos this last year, like Jesse Tyler Ferguson telling us his story about shoplifting gay porn. Uh, Matt Rogers of Las Culturistas talking about losing his virginity to the manager of a clam bar. Rhea Butcher breaking down gender fluidity. Karamo Brown from Queer Eye talking about marriage and then proposing to his boyfriend weeks later. Sex and love advice guru Dan Savage breaking down being monogamish. Uh, this is a great show. I really enjoy it. Um, check out Homophilia now on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back here. Sam Richardson of Champagne Ill. Uh, and uh, we have uh, uh, Coach Joel Ganvundi of the Dinner Dogs. What mm. what's town is that again? North Bismarck. Dakota? Bismarck. Bismarck. I write what kind of Bismarck. animal would each uh, of the of the characters of Seinfeld be if they were animals? Like like in a BoJack Horseman kind of world. Like on Noah's Ark, do you mean? Or, or, or like in Noah's Ark. Like like a Noah's Ark where Seinfeld the animals are sign are, uh, each, are Seinfeld each are yeah the animals are Seinfeld yeah. each and one then is some an of animal. them are maybe like you know Boston Common it, and exactly yeah and some are the Friends mm -hmm. yeah okay so what 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 animals would they be on Noah's uh, Ark Jerry would be a golden retriever and George would be a turtle and uh, did Noah have every type of dog or just one dog oh yeah what, like what was that was that before like the evolution of like a dog went into other kinds of dogs yeah for, descended from wolves Wolves, yeah, originally. So, so mm -hmm. it's just a wolf. Yeah, I would think he had two wolves. <laughs> and then those two and wolves I, I, I'm just fucked and made guessing. a golden retriever. <laughs> those two wolves had sexual intercourse, and over years and years of these stuff, lots of se yeah. of sexual intercourse, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. years and years of sexual intercourse. Yes. Yeah. Turned them into generations a, of uh, the offspring of these two wolves. Eventually, gave us the golden the myriad of dogs that we see today. And that's, which is, and that's Jerry. You say that's yeah, Jerry. Okay, George is a turtle. 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 I would say Elaine is a uh, goose. I was going to uh, say some sort of bird. Uh -huh. she's yeah, she seems. Yeah, she seems kind of flight. I mean, you've worked with her. I've worked with her. She, she seems like a bird. Like, she? like a bird. Like I'd say, a majestic eagle. But yeah, but that. I mean, this is your time. It's, it's on you. It's not me. This is not Azaban, right? 
This is no. Nope, you're talking to Joel right now. As a trickster, what? wouldn't he say it's not him? I, no, I think a trickster, much like a cop, has to say it's if, him if you uh, ask. Fair, yeah. fair. Yeah. He usually lets out a little tee hee because uh, <laughs> oh, okay. he likes to be caught in it, the moment. Uh, is that a tell for him saying tee hee? Tee hee, yes. It okay, is. and then uh, I believe we haven't gotten to Kramer yet. Oh, unless yeah, I'm oh, mistaken. Yeah. He was an original cast member of Fridays. Which was a sketch comedy sketch show. comedy show. He's also in the movie uh, uh, UHF, which uh, also I, in the movie Problem Child. Yeah, and also the movie uh, Trial and Error. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're doing it. We've run out of movies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you were excited about yeah, us. I thought doing you it. were doing it. <laughs> so, what kind of animal? Oh, what kind of animal? Oh yeah. yeah! Did you just think we were asking you about Kramer? Yeah, I forgot the original question. Oh, okay. what kind of animal would he be if he was like oh, an eel? Animal, I would say he'd be an eel. And did eel. Noah have to get all the sea animals? They're well, already right. there. Well, uh, I would assume no, because the flood, yeah. they'd be like, we're fine. Did he have an aquarium? Yeah. Or what, well, how about like an ocean animal versus like a lake animal, like freshwater versus salt? Yeah, water? Yeah, that's a good point. I guess he would have to get the freshwater people on the boat. Mm-hmm. Well, if he didn't, then I'd make him a giraffe. Okay, so an eel, if he didn't. If he did have to carry all the sea animals, He'd make him a giraffe. Make Otherwise, him God, I hope giraffe. I die and go to heaven so I can figure this out. Just ask first question. I'm going to ask. Yeah, you might have Crohn's disease because uh, I was feeling a, a similar sort of stomach pain, and I assume. Oh, I thought you were was. talking to Sam. Yeah, I was <laughs> because, like, whoa, <laughs> because that's the first question he was going to ask. I was like, what a weird, what a what a weird diagnosis. <laughs> it's amazing, like a house. <laughs> <laughs> but you're saying to Deb over here, Deb, you might have Crohn's disease, I, b- I believe. Well, some coach. of what you were describing I was experiencing, and I said, this is the work of Azaban. And then I went to a doctor, and it turned out no. Well, I, I did go to the online Dr. G's site where he said it also could be anxiety. Is that a Chinese web address? That's uh, It's linked with the powder. You get to have the mm. online program. You get the powders. You get the shaker. Mm. Who's mm-hmm. And how did you first hear about Dr. G? Dr. G, I saw him on a, um, well, not him, <laughs> but I signed for his so powder. That's so funny. But, uh, <laughs> you what? I you was, signed for his powder? I, I did a sign for his powder. You I, did a sign? At the, at the office, we made these big signs where we were putting them all over. Hmm. And um, Oh, you were in a, you work in an advertisement agency? We do a little bit of everything. Barbie oh, okay. does some work in the office. I'm mostly clerical stuff, but it's just gotcha. for, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, met up with Dr. G. Oh, he's helping me out with my very swollen ankles. Coach, do you have that? Uh, no, I have uh, regular ankles. Okay. Mm. Do the NBA players get swollen ankles? I would imagine all that running and, and yeah, sometimes people kick them. Risk. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you do see that with the guys. Yeah, just big old ankles. Big, uh, yeah. Big yeah, ankles. Just baseball ankles. sized. You're like, <laughs> hey, this is basketball, not baseball. Oh, no, that's your ankle. That type of thing going yeah. on a lot. Yep. Tee hee, tee hee. I don't want them to get bigger. As the size of a basketball, it's sure. not what I want. Sure, I want them to be yeah. smaller. Mm-hmm. Did he, anyone ever stuff one of those basketballs down their shorts and be, and like pretend they have elephantitis, and then they then people are like, oh, I don't know where the ball is, and then they run down the court and and just do and a slam question, dunk. And your question is, did anyone ever do that? <laughs> well, I was going to ask the same question, so please answer. Yeah, I, and I'm talking about on Seinfeld. <laughs> I, I, you know, I can't, again, I'm not a fanatic, but I don't remember that happening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Seems yeah. like a funny pitch. Yeah, yeah, at least. I like, don't know. If it were still on the air, I think. I, I think it would at least happen in the show that Jerry and uh, George, George were pitched. pitched. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. At least. So um, I still don't know exactly, Deb, where you've been for seven days. I know your stomach has hurt, and that's all you'll say. Were you staying at a motel along the I way? I was staying in my car. You are staying in your car. I was staying in my car. Cut with Supreme. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had a um, bad boyfriend, and it's really tough to quit him, though. And huh. I've been just kind of staying outside of his place in my car. Outside of his place? I've been staying outside of his place. Oh, okay. It's yeah. not great. I know that. It's not great. It doesn't sound great. Well, <laughs> I've just been defrosting a couple of lean cuisines in my car, and... Oh, how are they staying worse. frozen? Oh, they're not. And how are they getting unfrozen? <laughs> oh, my niece is sitting on them. Oh, she just. She's What's just your such niece's name, by the way? Amber. Amber, and mm-hmm. she's still down in the car. Yeah. And is there some sort of alert uh, named after her for she's been missing for seven days now? I would imagine. Oh, we're all praying. We're all praying. And no, I'm you home. know where she is. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> she's down in the car. Right, but just, <laughs> you know. No, I don't know. She's been. <laughs> you know how it goes, Scott. I literally we're out don't. here doing our dang best. So you you were supposed to pick me up a week ago. Yeah. Uh, my mother Barbara asked you to do that, and instead you've just your stomach sort of hurt, so you've been sitting outside your ex boyfriend's house with your niece Amber. I didn't. I didn't make her. Did, As your niece, not your daughter. No, 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 no. Did you ask her to do it, or did did you was did you say, "Hey, I'm here to pick you up"? The same thing. You almost tricked us into getting into the car. Hey, hey, hey! Not a trick. It's a treat. I mean, you're not a trickster, are you? I mean, yeah. like, like. Tee hee. <laughs> oh, oh no. wait a minute, man! Wait a minute, Azaban, is this you? Oh man! I am simply a woman who loves. These young guys, and also a poopoo queen. <laughs> wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I can't tell if Azaban has taken over Deb here, or whether this is Azaban. But I didn't see a puff of smoke. Right? She's not a, not currently in the form of a coyote. Yeah. Yeah. Although I will say her mouth is not just moving up and down. The it seemed or the seems words to be seem to be coming out of her mouth. Yeah. 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 The Chris Tucker special. <laughs> so, I. I can't tell. Deb, are, are you in there? Can you hear us? Oh, gosh, I'm back. Deb. Oh, hi. I just feel like I just went somewhere. Hi, do you know? I mean, you you were probably conscious during this, but uh, unless Azaban has several methods. Just, yeah, right. <laughs> Different ways to skin a cat, if you will. Mm -hmm. De Ooh. Deb, do you know what just happened? Do you know us? Uh, I'm sorry. I feel like I just took one of my niece's ne narcolepsy naps. <sighs> Do you know who we are, Deb? Hello. Hi, I'm Scott Ackerman of Comedy Bang Bang. Sure, sure. Sam Richardson of Champagne Hill. Sure. I'm Coach Joel Ganfondi of the Bismarck Dinner Dogs. Oh, God. Don't know him, probably. Oh, I only know him through his mom, where I used to work in the office with her. Oh, she is a dream. <laughs> so you do know. Nice lady. My mom is Barbara Ackerman. Mm hmm Do you work, uh, have you ever worked with her? Yes. <laughs> My mom's Lydia Richardson. Uh, you, you, you maybe work with her? Lydia. <laughs> Lid, yeah. Oh, so Lid. you do know all of us. Uh, I know. Well, I don't know you guys. Today is the first day, but I've seen pictures of you. Yeah, it's January. Did do you? It's 2019 already. Do you? Did you know that? I mean, you. From what I understand, you and your niece have been missing for a week. I I know who you are just through pictures. I just what pictures? The ones that are sitting on your mom's oh, okay. desk. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Of course, I know you all. I'm so proud of y'all. That's not really the question that mm -hmm. I asked. I said, do you realize you've been missing for a week? What? <laughs> Deb, you've been missing for a week. What's the... What's, I think we got to say this some different way, because you yeah. and I both said the exact same thing. Fair. Deb, Deb you, you, your location has not been ascertained by another human being for seven days. Oh, my gosh. Well, we should let someone know. <laughs> who do you want? Yeah, who, who, oh, who's let's the call the police. <laughs> we got to call the police. You want us to call the police on you? Y yeah. Uh, uh, please don't call the police on me. <laughs> okay. Well, well. Oh, please don't call the police on me. All I wanted to do is take you guys out to one of my favorite restaurants. Okay. Wait, so, so, so you... If you're not into pizza, if you're not into garlic bread, if you're not into white bean chilies, then okay. forget about it. Okay, guys, I think Azaban didn't take her over. I think, she, I think she's just kind of an insane person or something. Although she, she knows all of our moms. She knows my mom specifically. Lid. Yeah, that's her. Uh, and I'm pretty hungry at this point now. So yeah, you are. Yeah, we the sound in. of that white bean chili sounds pretty good. It does sound pretty. I mean, what about it sounds good to you? Just the words white bean and chili next uh, to each other, or just I like uh, savory foods. Uh, <laughs> I like them hot. Uh, I like there to be chewing involved. Mm -hmm. Chew. There's not a lot of chewing in chili in a white bean chili. With beans. Okay. Chew, them, chew them beans. I guess. Just, yeah. I guess I'm not swallowing them. So don't just <laughs> don't just pour them down your gullet when you're having a white bean chili. You want to chew chew up. The yeah. Food. Okay. I apologize. That's okay. So you like you like savory foods. Mm -hmm. You like them hot. <laughs> <laughs> and you like chewing to be involved. <laughs> this sounds and like white bean chili checks all those boxes. <laughs> it seems like human beings yeah. <laughs> like yeah. all of these things. Sure. 
All right. You said I wasn't. Well, I, I don't know. I, I think that we should get out of here then I think and, so. go, and go go with uh, Deb over here. I mean, uh, you, it's just an hour and a half. It's just an hour and a half. I'll I'll. Which text. direction? Hmm. Which direction? <laughs> Northeast to here. Northeast to here. Northeast to here. As the eagle flies? Yeah. As Julia so, Louis Julie Louis Dreyfus dri- flies? flies? <laughs> Drives. If, if, she, if she can. <laughs> if she can't, I will pick her up. How would she get there if she had a Waze account? Oh, you just want to... You just want to follow. This is no. I'm sorry. This is a oh, question for right. Coach Ganvundi. This yeah. is a Seinfeld based question. Yeah. Uh, How would Julia Louis Dreyfus get to the Sioux Plantation if she were using Waze? Well, uh, she'd have to open the app initially. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Great. Uh, yep. Good first step. She'd have to type in the uh, number of the of the address. <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah. And then the street name. Uh, you know what? She could also. I guess I don't mean how search soup plantation. Go yeah, on. I, I guess I don't mean how does one use ways. Right. How would you go about using I, I ways? Mean what what the directions are would be to get oh, to the what, place. So for her, for she's her, not yes. using the app. She's using the app. She's getting there. She's using the app, and I'm wondering what the steps are. Leaving from here. Leaving from here. Yes, going northeast an hour and a half to the soup plantation. All right. Well, you're going to get on the 101. Sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. And yeah. then you're gonna going to take it north. North. Mm-hmm. Take that until it turns into the <laughs> seventy. Okay. Well, well, look at what he's doing on the page. Yeah. He's just circling <laughs> the words Jerry and George <laughs> and underlining them furiously. Got to be a clue. <laughs> But we don't, I don't know. Yet. I can't do anything about yeah, it. That's worthless to us. Yeah. Oh, well, look, guys, we're running out of time. We just have one final feature on the show, and that is a little something called plugs. I got a plug prediction. I got a plug prediction that the kookiest people on the show will plug on someone else's behalf. So let's open up the plug bag. Nice and short. I love it. That was Plug Prediction by Freg the Egg. Thank you, Freg the Egg. Uh, if you have a plug theme, send it on over to uh, Earwolf.com and put it in the appropriate thread, and the engineers will pick it, and we'll hear it, and you'll become famous. Uh, all right. What are we plugging here, Sam? Uh, I know you're you're plugging Champagne Ill. Anything else you want to tell us about? We've covered the Karate Kick, Episode 9. Karate Kick, Episode 9. Uh, I've got blonde hair through half of it, so I'm plugging that. Yeah. Uh, this is my general Instagram. Get on there. Yeah, get on it. Get on it. What kind? Of, what kind of things are you? Uh, you posting pictures of this karate kick or uh, posting pictures of multiple karate kicks? Actually, so not okay. just on the TV show. Uh, kicks from the past. Kicks I'm going to do in the future. You're posting pics of those. Pics of kicks. That's kind of like the whole mm-hmm. thing. But I think by the time you're on this thing, I will have changed my profile to say pics of kicks. Pics of kicks. Great. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to hold you to that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Champagne Hill, uh, Last season of Veep will probably be out in the springtime. Oh, that's fun. You know? well, so when the uh, the leaves start uh, kind of changing colors, turn, that's, and, when, yeah. that's when Veep comes around. So when 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 you're outside and mm-hmm. you're seeing just the colors of spring and the flowers blooming, mm-hmm. you can think to yourself, oh, Veep's almost here. Veep's almost here. Mm-hmm. Better get inside. <laughs> and never leave. And never leave. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, and uh, Coach Ganvundi. Uh, what are you plugging exactly? I, I can't quite get a beat on what you would want to promote. <laughs> uh, I, I guess I'm plugging uh, all the rest of our games for this season. Yeah, I, I would imagine the playoffs start in uh, April it, or uh, May, or when do playoffs start? They start in April. They do. And uh, and you'll be at least in those. At least. So I would I would get your seats now. Season tickets? Mm-hmm. I would get season tickets. Do the there glasses come mailed available. to you and you have to bring them, or are they passed out? Like at the 3D movies. In or the do theater. people have to hold up their, their tickets and wave them in the air all the time? Otherwise, people take the glasses away? Season, if you're a right. season ticket holder for the Bismarck Dinner Dogs, you do get a locker. And uh, you are assigned one you, pair of glasses. You, and you share a locker with everyone else? If or? you need a replacement note each... Season ticket holder gets, gets one. one locker. Okay. If you lose your ticket, okay. if you lose your glasses, it is two hundred and fifty dollars to replace to replace the glasses. Re- okay, but so the season ticket holders get a locker for the glasses. What about people who are just coming into the game? No locker. No, no locker. No locker. And they have to give the the glasses back after they when they leave the facility. That's right. And are, are those glasses two hundred and fifty dollars? 
if you lose one mid game and you would like to get some more to watch the rest of the game, it is two hundred and fifty dollars. And how much are the tickets to watch the game? I mean, it's on a range of you know, what the to cheapest what? tickets right now. I think are thirty five dollars. Okay, okay, and what are the the what the high ticket? Our most expensive ticket is a nine thousand dollar ticket. <laughs> okay, oh, wow. And what percentage of the arena is this nine thousand dollar ticket? Nine thousand dollars is just one seat. Just one. Yeah. No. And who is does it's anyone right on the bench and it's right next to me. <laughs> And who is? Does anyone ever buy that seat? Is it? Is it ever Not yet. occupied? No, Mm-mm. just an empty seat next to you. Yeah, it makes me feel a little lonely, but I understand <laughs> that uh, it takes time to build a fan base, and we're a new team. Sure, and also it's very, very expensive. Mm-hmm. I think the owner is doing you a disservice here. Nine thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I, as far as I'm concerned, NBA teams play eighty-two games a year or something. I mean, that is. Uh, that's almost a million dollars. Oh, you want to sit next ticket. to me for the whole season? It's going to cost you. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're plugging that? I'm plugging that. Uh, and I'm also plugging a, a show that I like to watch on ABC at 930 every night. Every night? Starting uh, Jan- every Wednesday night. Oh, every, oh, oh. thank God. Uh, and it's called Single Parents, and it's a funny show and uh, helps me unwind. Hmm. After coaching you're, a basketball game, and you're also, wound up a lot. Oh well, you got to imagine. I never know exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> right, and, right. And but what I do know is that even if this trickster demon has made my life a living hell, I can count on some solid laughs mm-hmm. from the show Single Parents for 22 minutes. And this is you saying it. This is not Azaban saying this. This is me. Saying I have it. not. I've heard nary a tee Nope. All right. I think he, we can take him at his yeah, word. Yeah, I trust it. So, yeah. So you are a fan of single parents. I am. You seem it, like this Dubious? is... Dubious? <laughs> yeah. I'm just waiting for a tee-hee. I'm just... Yeah. If I hear a tee-hee, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn over to Deb over here. It's a bad show, and you should knock your TV off its stand and... Uh, drop a big heavy rock on it. Tee hee. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Yeah. All right, Deb. I don't want you to do that. I know. Okay, I know. Yeah. Deb, what are you? Uh, what are you plugging here? Anything uh, uh, to plug? I mean, obviously uh, the office you work in. Oh God! I give it up. <laughs> Would you guys give it up? But, my being office? applaud? Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, thanks so much. I'll, I can't wait to tell the gals at the office. They're going to love this. Oh, that'll give them a thrill. <laughs> They're going to love this. Um, you know, I'll tell you what. Be careful with big rocks, though. I know you were just uh, teeing, but... He was yeah, forced to say that by a trickster demon. I sure. get that, but words have meanings and, you know, be careful. So we don't want any small children to be listening to this program and think, oh, it's cool. They were talking about big rocks. That gives me a good idea. Uh-huh. Um, I'm going to drop one. Onto my television right. set. That would be irresponsible of don't us. Don't you dare. I guess television sets are on the wall usually now, so it would be more like hurling one. Mm-hmm. Unless at, it was like a shelf it. and a rock that you could like push it off the shelf. All and those. Like sheer to the wall. You mean like a shelf facing the television like that you a, would go behind and like push? A, like a ledge or something? Like maybe like a. Above the TV? Above or are you talking the facing the TV? Because I think even if it were above the TV, TVs are so flat now. Yeah. You would push it off and it would just fall. Yeah, yeah it would clear it. Yeah, it would clear it. I would say put, the, put an opposing shelf. Yeah. Directly opposite the TV, put a hole in the back of the shelf, uh-huh. and then force your hand through it, pushing the rock out. Like out and through. Yeah. Now, but it would have to be relatively high because it's not going to travel, right? Cause, uh, you know, an incredible distance before falling right to the ground. Yeah. And, like, and probably like close walls as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So but, we don't want kids doing this. Yeah. So don't. K- don't. Kids, if you're hearing this and you're getting the idea to want to do that, don't do this. Don't. 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 And if you're a trickster demon, don't do it either. Anything else, Deb? Oh, um, office gals. Oh, um, I, my niece's friend. Um, check out her Instagram at Merrill Swan. Your, your niece is friends with this woman? Mm-hmm. It's just an Instagram I like to troll on. Do you troll? Mm-hmm. So what, you're like, like shit posting on this woman's oh, Instagram? Oh, you or? would uh, imagine my shit, shit, shit. <laughs> shit posting. Shit posting. <laughs> My shit posting slams. Mm-hmm. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. I get them good. Mm-hmm. So check that one out. And um, a show that I've been getting down with is... This um, isn't on a Wednesdays at 9.30, is it? Oh, Single Parents? My second favorite show? <laughs> oh, it's not opposite Single Parents, because I we can't have competing plugs. No, no way. Okay. No when way. is this show on? Um, 
Not sure yet, <laughs> okay. but uh, AP Bio is mm. a show that I really like. Okay, and when will that be on? Will the leaves have have turned into bright colors yet? Mm. The, will the flowers be in bloom? Will will little bees be buzzing around? And uh, will budding? we hear the, the the chirping of birds? Baby birds and just small buds on a tree. No. Small buds on a tree. So we're talking the February, the still in the the cold harshness of winter. I think. There is a chance you could slip. Okay. 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 So slipping weather. Okay. Slipping weather. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So if you're slipping and sliding out there, get inside. Let that, let, get inside. Don't leave. Mm-hmm. Turn on your TV to NBC, whatever that is for you. But, you know, in the Seinfeld era for me, it was, you know, Channel 4. Channel 4. Yeah. yeah. So uh, turn it on and then just check out AP Bio at some point, someday. Turn it on. Turn it on. Um, I just want to plug Seinfeld reruns out there. Uh, I believe they're on KCOP out here. And, uh, you know, just check your local listings. All right. Let's close up the old plug bag. Close your eyes and open up that bag. Close your eyes and open up that bag. You got to get those eyes closed. Get them. Get them. Open the bag. Get them. Get them. Get them. Don't be get closing. Em. Don't be closing. Open them up and let's get loaded. Let's get loaded. Open up the bag. Open up the bag. Let's get loaded up the bag. Open up the bag. Open up the bag. Just 12 more months of that. <laughs> God. All right, guys. I want to thank you all. Uh, Sam, so great to meet you. I had a, a lot of fun on this, was, and uh, please come back anytime. Yes, please. It was so much fun. Thanks for having me. Uh, and uh, uh, Deb, uh, we got to get in this car here in a second. I hope your niece is okay and that uh, uh, her friend, Meryl Swan, is not concerned about her. No, she's got her iPad. Okay. okay good. <laughs> and, good, good, good. Uh, and Coach uh, Joel Ganvundi. I uh, I don't know what to say. I, I See you in the playoffs. <laughs> oh, yeah, we will see you in the playoffs. I hope you still are uh, a member of the team at that point. I hope they don't uh, step in and make any coaching changes. Uh, seems to me like you have your your position is sort of extraneous at this point. Uh, if not, I mean, you're sort of an assistant coach. Yeah, I would suggest that you try and like position yourself as coach coach to the coach. Coach to the yes, you could be the coach. Uh, you know, sort the of coach is coach whispering in Azban's ear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he has a he does. You know, he's new to this. So. Yeah. Right. He seems very successful. Mm-hmm. An uninterrupted streak of winning right. at this point. Well, he is all powerful. So, yeah. is he really, or is he magical? We never really. He's supernaturally powerful. He is supernaturally powerful. I mean, he's putting in the work in terms of the coaching. You've uh, mentioned a puff of smoke. Mm-hmm. Is that because he's appearing in this, or does he smoke cigars he smokes or something? A pipe. <laughs> he smokes a pipe. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> and <laughs> tobacco plume. We've never talked about what he looks like. What is what is. What what is his appearance? He, is, he's still uh, he's still in the form of a coyote. He is a oh, coyote. He, a coyote he has time. implied that he that is not his true form, but he only appears to me. He's appearing to you and the team as a coyote. I am the only one who can see him, which is adding to some of my troubles. I my see. Are you interpreting wins. his commands to the team? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, so you still seem like the head coach then. It seems like I'm doing a great job. <laughs> okay, well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. See you in the playoffs. I'll and before playoffs. we go, one last Seinfeld question. Here we go, Sam. Yeah, uh, Putty, do you think that in today's era he would be, like, uh, considered a smart man? It, hmm? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, Good. we'll see you Perfect. next time. All right, thanks, bye. Want to hear Earwolf Pilots before anybody else? We made a podcast feed just for you. Earwolf Presents is full of great stuff, like preview episodes for upcoming shows, peeks behind the paywall, and pilots for podcasts that haven't even been made yet. It's like getting to listen in behind the scenes here at Earwolf. Starting January 21st, Earwolf Presents will have a bunch of new pilots for you, like Edgar Montplacier's The Wokest. Catch conversations between the wokest man in the world and comedians like Reza Lachea. Also, hear upcoming pilots The Florida Cast. Wow, you're Native American too? This Week in Sports and Carl Alarm all throughout the month. Let us know what you think of them with hashtag Earwolf Presents. Subscribe to Earwolf Presents to hear more great episodes from around the network and behind the paywall, like an episode of Drew Tarver's Strictly Business with Derek Contrera, or Act One of Matt Besser's punk musical, Stolen Idea. 
Just search for Earwolf Presents in your podcast app and subscribe so you don't miss an update. 